amber and maybe a little black I'm gonna make it dark mix and indicate the trunk of this tree I've worried about highlights or perfections here right now I'm just applying the undertone or base code for the tree and maybe another one here now some of this trunk for this tree is going to be covered with leaves and stuff like that so about it this area is gonna be in the shadows so I'm gonna indicate that a little black and this tree as well I'm gonna pick up a no. I'm gonna pick up a one inch brush, dab into my black and brown, and I'm gonna go ahead uh, indicate the leaves for this tree. Getting some more black on my palette some brown and we're gonna come up here and think of the shape of the tree and the leaves if I block your view those three trunks but I'm gonna go ahead re paint that some of that umber maybe some white make a lighter mix and come here and drop the tree trunk that we missed I'm not sure if it was in the exact spot but it doesn't matter bring this tree trunk up here this one indicate a few spots here we go 
now when we highlight this it will make more sense and apply some shadow color for these three All right, so I have a mix of burnt umber, white, and a touch of uh, cat orange. Over here, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mid-tone for the tree. And if we get the highlight from here, we're gonna... I'm just gonna come here and tap. And I'm gonna soften a few. Oftentimes I'm going to stand back and take a look, see how the highlighted tree looks like, you know. And this is just a mid-tone. my palette come up here and do the same there are many different techniques to paint trees many different trees different looking different shapes you know it's up to you what you do this is the technique I use for now. Maybe in the future I change, but I'm not saying this is the best way. But this is what I do now. Just soften a few pick up more paint. have a lot of paint on the brush so and 
and some here so now that I'm, I'm done almost done with the with the mid-tone I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on the trunks a bit so when I apply them out the final highlight I would be done well I would be kind of done with the tree I'll wash the brush put it aside now for the trunk I'm gonna go ahead and use my ram brush Um, I'm gonna make some black, some lighter tone of the burnt umber, and I'll be back. Alright, so I have some burnt umber, some black on my palette. I'm gonna come up here, maybe add some white into the burnt umber, a touch of white, let me see. Just sliding it up. I'm going to come here and apply some highlight for this tree. Some of it will be covered by the final highlight that we're going to apply. Now I'm going to come, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and wipe my brush. Pick up some umber, just a straight umber. some black and some black and I'm gonna come here and just put the whole thing together same idea for this one Maybe a touch of highlights over there, not much. Some black. And that would be her tree trunk. Get my round brush again. Come here, just tap. The paint is wet. And by tapping, you're gonna blend so you get rid of the hard edges get a smooth transition as you see what do you see I'm not sure and same idea here maybe even pick up some paint Something like that. And maybe a touch of white again. A little bit more white. Just some highlight. I think a touch of highlight here can help a little more. Alright, now that we have the tree trunk established, we're gonna go ahead and work on the highlights for the tree. Alright, before we go ahead and do the highlights, since we're already here, let's just drop a, drop a rock here, maybe. Some burnt umber, some raw sienna, maybe an indication of a rock, maybe another one, maybe another one here, a couple here. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the same brush. I'm gonna make sure it's completely dry. And 
and I'm gonna go ahead and get into my darker orange and come up here and just go ahead and tap and just tap Come up here, do the same. Maybe a touch here. Depends. Maybe a little over there, maybe I get more more of that color. And I don't want to do it all over. Definitely not all over the place because It won't look good all over. Just a bit here, a bit there. Maybe a touch here. here you painting at home and you don't like these colors you could apply same technique but change the colors just make sure your colors are you know have some harmony you know as you see over here I'm using burnt umber orange and some light, uh, lighter lighter orange I'm gonna make it make a mix and just come up here a touch of that get rid of all the excess paint dab 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 maybe over here a little bit so all these colors are complementary they they go with each other And some here. That would be our tree. 